you the power of God I, I don't know but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels I just saw an anointing rest on you this role in the name of Jesus I don't know where you are but I pray may that grace now let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ welcome to Christocentric message on this channel you are going to get soul lifting messages faith based content prayer drills and videos that would help you grow spiritually remember to subscribe to the channel like the video you are about to watch and comment on it stay blessed praise the name of the lord hallelujah amen what a beautiful church amen. let me again use this opportunity to truly truly honor the man of god i do not take for granted this opportunity to bring the word of the lord thank you for the love the hospitality the lord bless you the lord bless your wife alongside the entire leadership the lord increase you in jesus name um i took out time to pray this morning just preparing for this meeting and do not make the mistake of Jacob in chapter 28 of Genesis. The Bible says how that he went to a place called Luz and he lay stone there to sleep. And while he slept, he saw a ladder connecting the heavens and the earth. The angels ascending and descending. And even though the angels were ascending and descending, they were not coming to him because there was no expectation they were passing him and going about doing their business responding to those who were calling on God he was seeing them yet they did not do anything to him he made that mistake the next time he would find himself he was in the house of Laban and he had to pay daily by the time we get to chapter 32 Jacob is wiser he dismissed his wives his cattle Bible says when he was alone a man now came to him and he held him and he said, I will not let you go. He said, leave me for the day breaketh. He says, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And he said, what is your name? He says, Jacob. He says, thou shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince, you have had power with God and prevailed. He touched the whole of his thigh and blessed him. The Bible says, then the sun arose. And he named the place Peniel, the face of God. For I have seen God face to face, and my life is spared. In one minute, I'd like you to cry. Father, let something from heaven come upon my destiny Lord, that will shift me Father, to a new dimension. Lift your voice and pray. Passion. Come upon me this morning. Please Lord, pray. Let there be unusual visitation upon my life this morning. Lord, let there be a divine connection to heaven. In the name of Jesus, set my heart a place for you. Those outside pray. In the name of Jesus, Lord, follow it by way of the TV station, the internet pray. In the name of Jesus, give me an encounter. The Bible says, Blessed are they that hunger and thirst, for they shall be filled. Lord, give me an encounter this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please be seated for a while. I'll just give a charge and then we'll have an opportunity to just let God minister to our needs even as we wrap up this conference. Yesterday we began to discuss on the matters of the kingdom contrasting the gospel of salvation with the gospel of of the kingdom i did say yesterday that the gospel of salvation is a revelation of the love of the father revealed in and through the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus the son the object of that love being man primarily then by extension the entire creation that the goal of the gospel mama are you standing for yourself i'm seeing your daughter what's her name i want to pray for you Hold on, madam. Don't worry. I will pray for you. 
Is your daughter here? England. Huh? She's Hold in on. England. She's in England. She's a medical doctor. Medical doctor. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 years. How many years? 16 years. 16 years barren. I want to pray for you. Madam, please give this woman the mic. Are you the one trusting God for the fruit of the womb? 18 womb? years, yes, sir. One, three. 18. Or 18. One, eight. You, yes, 18. Yes, Do you believe in Jesus? Yes, you see, let me tell you this. Before you believe a man, don't just find out about God. Find out about the man too. You know, the Bible says it is sin to minister above your level of grace. It says to minister according to the level of grace. I want to pray for you. Jesus is Lord. And here at Calvary Bible Church, you will never forget that God himself brought this opportunity for your lifting, for your rising. This is the Jesus that we present to the nations. The one who can heal. The one who can bless. My dear, don't be embarrassed what I want. What's your name? Florence. Florence. Yes, sir. Don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for you. Yes, I'm sir. seeing a lot of miscarriages. Nine miscarriages, sir. How many? Nine. Nine. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over these people standing. Help her. The power of God is coming on her. Ah. There is nothing you cannot do. Hey. Mountain, you cannot move. If you have said it, then you will do it. You have a track record of keeping your word. And your In the name of Jesus Christ, please just make contact with your stomach as a prophetic point of contact. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God, I join my faith with the angel over this house. And in Jesus' name, I prophesy to you who are standing here according to the time of life. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God, return with miracle children. Look what is happening to this woman. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. I release every chain that holds anyone here. In the name of Jesus. Whether you're standing in for yourself, you're standing in for your children. In Jesus name, the Christ of God. Return with testimonies. Please return back to your seat rejoicing. God bless you so that we can hurry up. My friend, look at me. What's your name? Who is who is Christian? What's your name? Huh? Christian Godwin. Aha, I'm hearing Christian. I want to pray for you. What do you do? You are you are a man of God in this in this assembly? I hope you're not embarrassed. Huh? That's not the issue. Just 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 calm down and listen to what I'll tell you. Huh? I want to pray for you. It's true you are serving the Lord, but there are attacks in your life. Oh. You need to be prayed for. Huh? God brought you to this conference. Leave the show of man of God. Let God deal with your situation. Now you can go and preach. You understand? He will use you greatly, truly. But there's a lot of learning for you. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands everything that does not name the name of christ in and around your life i come by the rod of a higher priesthood and in the name of jesus christ i declare let it be gone right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i don't know how we'll do this now 
but I'm saying the Lord is asking me to rebuke delay now listen please you know that the spirit of delay is at work in your life when the only thing that goes forward is your age the only thing help them please help that man the only thing that moves forward is your age it says the spirit of God is upon me I want to pray for you now please listen let's just work with these instructions as much as possible we can use these aisles don't come near where the ministers are seated let's just honor the man of God but I want to pray for you the power of God will come on a few of you please whether you are an usher or not do well to help them so they don't enjoy themselves right now I stretch my hands here at Calvary Bible Church no 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 please go back go back please go back I'm not saying you should come out the power of God will bring them out by themselves you just go back in the name of Jesus Christ everyone under the sound of my voice please return back who is a victim of delay right now as I pray the power of God will come on you bring them out in the name of Jesus at the count of three one two three take that grace bring them out bring them out help them please bring them out hold that lady let her not enjoy herself I cause delay you are a spirit here at this global kingdom conference we stand in the name of Jesus sitting on the destinies of men every spirit help this woman help this woman behind the man of God please delay go delay go and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel I cause delay in the name of Jesus I cause delay from your life from your habitation I cause delay here at this global conference the king is here the kingdom is here There is power in the name of Jesus. 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 To break every chain, break every chain, break. in one minute and cause every delay I release myself now in the name of Jesus are you praying you came to church to pray this is a conference for your lifting lift your voice and pray under this corporate anointing every delay help them that would not let me go in the name of Jesus I decree and declare liberty by the spirit Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now please listen. My goodness. Anyone here experiencing delay? That people are moving forward but your destiny is staying in one place birthday after birthday I stand in the name of Jesus in partnership with the grace of all your man of God by prophecy I push you to the next level I push you to the next level I shake it back and toss up a break it toss it up a break it toss it up a shake it up stomach and toss the other I push you in the name of Jesus In Jesus name now listen to me please I understand there are many people in this assembly who are entrepreneurs business people I want to pray for you you see 
there is a grace for visibility it is one thing to have products and services that are needed and useful it is one thing to package those products in a superior way is one thing to have the ability to serve it to a targeted consumer base but you need the grace that makes for visibility in Acts chapter 12 the Bible says Peter was bound hand and feet and there were about eight soldiers locking him in the prison listen carefully Acts chapter 12 then the Bible says when the angel came the chains fell off and it reveals there a mystery he says that he went through the first gate he was out of the prison but he was still not safe he went to the second gate then the Bible makes an instructive statement that he came to the iron gate that opens up to the city there is a gate that opens up to the city listen carefully when that gate is open all you see is the city is a gate that controls visibility it is the iron gate you can have products and services you are not in prison but the city does not know you are there the bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder are you ready to receive in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god the grace that makes for visibility you don't have to bring them under the anointing because of space but i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus i'm seeing the number 31 3 1 in the name of jesus everyone here who has what it takes for the world to celebrate you everyone here dreams and visions have that as i help them products and services you have labored you've been well mentored by your man of god he has taught you the ethics of business but something is covering your visibility by this grace in the name of jesus take that anointing i command the city to hear you lagos hear them lagos hear them lagos hear them southwest hear them nigeria hear them please pay attention while still pray can i pray for restoration there is a grace that restores son of man he said can these bones live again hear me every time there were losses in the bible of any kind it was the office of the prophetic to bring restoration any kind whether it was the axe head or the wives of the sons of the prophet alas master for it was borrowed it is the office of the prophetic to speak restoration he said they are taken for a prey and none say it restore you can lose things but when you lose time you really lost but in the economy of god he can restore things and he can restore time listen to me there are people by the normal sequence of life you should not be at this level things happen in your life restoration is not progress restoration is beyond progress if you have been impeded by life once that constraint leaves you and you move forward that's not restoration that's progress restoration is God picking you and placing you where you would have been if that challenge were not there do you believe this please believe please believe please believe I want to declare restoration you will marvel and wonder at what happens to you at this prayer in the name of Jesus I call upon the God of my covenant for everyone here who is trusting God for any kind of restoration every destiny helper that must be used in this season to bring about a restoration I provoke their ministry over your life I provoke I provoke the 
their ministry over your life. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We have a few minutes. Let me pray for the sick. God is a God that heals. I have been a victim of sickness myself. I know what sickness can do. I have seen the healing power of God myself. I know healing is real. There are men and women here following by TV, internet and here in our local environment you are trusting God for miracles healing miracles listen to me Jesus heals his power heals lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle I want to pray for you right now if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest Spirit of the Sovereign Lord Come and make your presence known Reveal the glory of the Lord You're the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord Come and make your presence known Reveal the glory of the Lord let the weight of your glory over us. Let the light of your river flow. Let the truth of your kingdom let it reign in us. Let the weight of your glory. Please hear me. I know that we have a few minutes, but now listen, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to pray for you, some of you already, by coming out here and all the things that happen, miracles have happened to you already. But here's what will happen. Please listen carefully. We'll still steal out a few minutes. We're going to pray. And as I rebuke that devil, I want you to expect real provable miracles. And the moment that happens, even if it's in five minutes, I'm going to ask you, the moment you find out the power of God has touched you and you confirm that there is a miracle, if we can have just one or two pastors, just one or two of them, I want those people to just rush and come and stand, even if it's just two or three we take, to validate the power and the grace of Jesus at work and then also at work in this assembly and in this commission. Is that fine? Are we together? Please lay your hands. I want to pray. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Now, I don't know why God does this. It is a sign and a wonder but there's going to be a loud shout after that shout the healing power of God will begin to flow and I will pray I, I need to explain this because sometimes you see the way God works with us is really very mysterious why he does it sometimes a loud shout the power of God just comes upon a lady a loud shout sometimes I really don't know why that happens but I believe that is a, a sign and a wonder. The Bible says the shout of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Praise the name of the Lord. The moment that shout happens, then I'll begin to minister to the sick. But you lay your hands right now. I want to pray for you. This is a supernatural power of God. My God, there's such a strong anointing. Such a strong anointing in this place. You're already receiving, but this instruction God gives me. The power of God will come upon someone, a lady. So now we begin to pray. Please agree with me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now every devil that is back of any infirmity in the name of Jesus I command that your power is broken now let God's people go free now in the name of Jesus Christ now I declare be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name my God just help those under the anointing be healed in Jesus name from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name the power of God is going through your body now help them please help them be healed in Jesus name blind eyes be open now partial complete blindness be open now there are some people having pain pain at the back side your lumbar vertebra be healed the power of God is touching you right now every kind of bone condition you're here you're on crutches you're on a wheelchair you don't have to bring them out you don't have to bring those under the anointing out there's no space because some other people will come you're on a wheelchair you're on crutches right now I declare in the name of Jesus stand up stand up and lift your crush and walk in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus every blood condition every genotype issue we change it now HIV be healed now cancer be healed now the Lord is ministering to me you don't have to come out there are a number of ladies with multiple lungs around your breast area the power of God is touching you right now after this prayer you'll check it you will not find it again in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a I don't know if it's a, there's a there's a gentleman you have what looks like a swelling at the back of your neck after this prayer you check it right now you'll find out that it's gone completely in the name of Jesus every blood condition goes right now migraine headache very severe pounding migraine headache the Lord is healing you right now I'm seeing someone you have this recurrent pattern it's like every month you have to treat typhoid or malaria every month no matter how well you treat it it still comes back the power of God is touching you right now I'm seeing three people the Lord is healing them from pile in fact for one of you it's a very severe issue you cannot even go to the toilet because of how inconveniencing it is and because of the excruciating pain we come in the name of the Lord Jesus let there be healing for you I see some of you lifting photos of your loved ones lifting the pictures of your loved ones wherever they are and those of you following by way of TV following online in the name of Jesus here at Calvary Bible Church we decree and declare the healing power of Jesus leaves this altar right to your homes to your offices in the name of Jesus your homes your offices your devices let there be miracles in the name of Jesus the Christ of God in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone your your this is my right your right ear your right ear you feel you know how this is like there's water you are trying to get it to come out as soon as we are done praying check yourself you'll find out that a miracle has happened to you in the name of Jesus there is a woman you're, you're not exactly a young lady I'm seeing that um, I don't know it's not appendicitis but there is a severe looks like there's a mast just around your lower abdominal area in the name of Jesus Christ as I pray for you I command that mass to disappear now the Lord is showing me a family your mother mama is in the hospital right now as I am speaking the power of God is touching her where she is this is this is a teaching hospital in the name of Jesus let there be a miracle now for time's sake whether i mention your case specifically or not in the name of jesus who is the christ of god he's been exalted both as lord and as christ i declare be healed now be healed now be healed now 
now we have just five minutes to do that i want you to check yourself inside and outside many of you are already seeing miracles check yourself very quickly the moment you find out that a miracle has happened please ushers allow them file up here quickly quickly check yourself people are coming are you celebrating people check yourself make your way out make sure you confirm the miracle and then be on your way then we'll do the final impartation celebrate them as they come please you can use where do we use okay people are coming celebrate them oh, 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 oh. he's able are you celebrating miracles some of these testimonies you can keep coming at, at least we will find a way of documenting them yes are you ready sir go ahead sorry my name is Annie and I've had this breast lump you've had this breast lump yes for how long it's over six months now but by prayers in this altar it was discovered I wasn't cancerous but the lump has been there so it's been an issue of concern okay so each time I'm always touching it it's always I'm always worried yes. even if they say it's no longer cancer by prayers i had from this what place. happened now but by when the prayer was going on i just checked and the lump had my god it will never return to you again in the name of jesus the christ yes please very quickly my name is innocent peter okay i was having a pain in my waist and it's over two months now okay but after the prayer the completely pain, gone the bend bend down bend down any pain any pain are you celebrating miracles here? Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare it's gone and gone forever. Yes, please. My name is Damilola. I Yesterday night, I noticed that I, I wasn't feeling movement. In, I'm, I'm, I'm pregnant. Oh, yeah, I can see now. So, just as you asked us to, even till this morning. And you were not feeling movement? I was not feeling movement. Of the baby? Yes, sir. And My just God. as you asked us to place her hands on any part, I, I started feeling movement, strong movement. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? You want a name, name above every other name. What can you take? What can you take, Jesus? Place your hand there. And right now the baby moved let her finish the testimony go ahead yes the baby moved. completely place your hand there how many months are you i'm eight months old. eight months yes, sir. in the name of jesus deliver like the hebrew women yeah. i stretch my hands no complication mother and baby are fine we release you right from this altar towards your safe delivery in the name of jesus are you ready sir go ahead my name is Kolade. Uh, i've been having this stomach ulcer for long now but the moment I placed my hand there, I discovered that it's uh, it's gone completely. Yes, yes. How long has it been? It's up to twelve years now before my mother died. Lay your hands there in the name of Jesus Christ. It never returns to you. Never returns to you again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. My name is Abigail. I normally have migraine headache and one side of my eyes always swell up every two to three years. One so, side come again. My name is Abigail. I uh -huh. normally have migraine headache. One side of my eyes. I don't know pressure. Which of them? Head. Which of okay, I see. Uh-huh. So when you were praying, the pain come over, but now I'm no more hearing the pain again. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare it goes never to return again in jesus name yes please 
My name is Olan Rabaju. I've been having an um, issue of pile. Even pile? Pile, yeah. So, for a long time. How long can you remember? For okay. a long time. Okay. So, you mentioned my case, and I, be, I believe, I felt a relief, and I believe. In the I'll name of healed. Jesus, you go for a very formal checkup, and you will find out that a miracle has happened to you. In the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. My name is Emmanuel. Recently, I was diagnosed some one month ago with secondary hypertension. I've been having serious secondary chest pain. Secondary hypertension? Yes. Ah. Yes. I've been having very serious chest pain. I came to church. I was having... It was very severe. Really very severe. But um, as I started praying, I kept my hand on my chest. Now, I do not feel any pain. Completely. Even palpitations, I do not feel any one. The now. palpitations are gone. Yes. In the, the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, you go forth in joy, you are led forth in peace. Nothing missing nothing broken in the name of jesus christ yes please my name is wisdom isaac i was having severe head pain since two weeks but headache and right now yes now it's, it's gone, gone completely in the name of jesus it will never return to you by the power of the holy spirit yes please praise the lord my name is chia for three months now i've been having i fainted and i went to the hospital they said i should not be fasting again even I'm going to church, I'll test something. But today, I decided not to test anything because I believe I'll be healed. Because the pain is severe. I can't breathe. I'll be feeling fainting. So as I was there, I was feeling the fainting. But when prayer was going on, the pain disappeared. That, that evil spirit manifesting as infirmity, I declare here at this conference, you are released from it now. Amen. Never to be a victim of it again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, please. Hallelujah. My name is Christian Godwin. On Sunday, last week Sunday after service, I received this attack on my health that I, I could not even barely walk enough after ministration. So I had to in the evening. What was the man rushed. that passed? Yes, sir. Okay. So I had to be rushed. My member had to rush me. I had to, I had to just go to the hospital because it was so strange after ministration after service degrees. I went to have cancer the hospital that and what happened now so then i went to the hospital and since then i came to lagos and now i've been praying for god to fully restore back my strength and as you were praying the lord restore my strength in the name of jesus the bible says he restored my soul let your restoration be perfected in the name of jesus christ yes please yes sir my name is bright obey Yes, I'm a minister of the gospel. Wow. This pile has been disturbing the occurrence. I can't count the years. For the past three days, I've not been able to ease myself well. And when I go to the third, I don't even want my wife to see because of the kind of blood that you come out. But as oh my God. when I was sitting down here, I find it difficult because of the pain. But right now, completely. You see, listen. When miracles happen like this, among the many things you must learn to discern miracles. Miracles don't just show that a man is powerful. There is a dimension to that, but miracles are a revelation of the love of Jesus. Miracles are also a revelation of the might and the power of Jesus. Are we together now? But then to really benefit from miracles, you have to discern the message. Every miracle has a letter written in it. Don't throw away the envelope because you are rejoicing over what is there. There is still something in it. Miracles are a letter from Jesus saying, I am still Lord. Saying, I still love you. And it plants faith in you. And some of the things that happen in the bodies of men are if God can open up a blocked intestine or a blocked tube, it means he can open up a door, a business door. You must discern and know how to prophetically discern and apply miracles to your life. If a blind eye opens, it means if God can open a human eye, God can open a door. Yes, sir. Are we together now? Sir, we thank you and we honor you for coming out to share this testimony is it alright if I say a word of prayer for you I stand by the election of grace and I declare may your ministry shift to a new level from today Amen. I come by the privilege of the election of grace I pray that every dimension you desire even in this season may you begin to step in it and this pile that is caused here on this ground it is caused now and caused forever 
the name of Jesus. We have a few minutes. We have to work with time. Yes, Praise please. The Lord. A lump in my left breast just left now. My I'm God. My God. In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, please. Go ahead. I think, I think the Lord, last two years, I have accidents on the leg. My, my little you have? Come again. Accident, accident. Accident? Yes. Oh my God. And the bone got broken. So the bone, down. which of them? Yes, last week. The uh, bone got broken. Got broken. Verified in the hospital? Yes, sir. And what happened now? But now, since that time, I'm fleeing in that pain. Yes. They told me that I have to remove the leg. The leg is, is like, I'm, like, they say, oh, they say that I have to cut the leg. Yes. From, but thank God, they called one rabbi to do something on the leg. But that I was feeling in that pain inside the bone. But now, as you pray for me, I love it. My like friend, walk. Again. Walk. Accident. Broken bone. May everything that has gone out of joint, out of alignment in your life, by reason of this miracle, I speak to you. In the name of Jesus, may bone come to his bone. May business come to his business. May relationship come to his relationship. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Healing, perfection for you. Yes, please. Praise God. My name is Chris Akinyoshi. So, when you were speaking about um, Pi and Tommy, so I receive pain and that pain moves out of me. When you speak. Yes, Thank you. it's gone completely. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you. I want to hear the testimony. Is, is that a young lady? Let me hear her testimony. Not, not well, yes, do, and then the, the little one. Yes. My name is Miracle. Since last week, I've been having sore Can you imagine? Truth. What a name. Since last week, I've been having sore truth. I almost lost my voice, and I didn't come for the kingdom you conference. You had? Sore truth. Okay, okay, okay. I almost lost my voice, and I didn't come for the kingdom conference because of that. And what happened now? It's gone already. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you. Uh-huh. My name is Apan Favor. I want to thank God because I've been healed from abdominal pain. Since when I was little till now, I've been feeling the pains. But today, I've been healed completely. Oh my God. Check yourself. Yes. No pain. It never returns to you again. In the name of Jesus. You will never forget this conference. I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit. You see, this is why it is important to invite people to church. It is more than just trying to promote a man's assignment. You are giving people an opportunity to experience Jesus. I was glad, he said, when they said unto me. These are procedures that sometimes would cost thousands of naira, dollars, and yet in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's take two more and then we'll have to wrap up for the sake of our time. Yes, please, go ahead. Um, my name is Deborah. I, um, I was diagnosed with fibroid two years ago. Uh -huh. And then um, usually I still have pain on my pelvic area. And it, it causes um, pain monthly, my monthly. But as um, the prayer was going on, I just sat down after the prayer because I felt, um, well, God has done the miracle. I started um, trying to um, contrast my stomach, yes. stomach, stomach, and then press it. I can't feel that stiffness anymore. I can't feel. I can't feel it anymore. The power of God is a wonder to behold. A wonder to behold. In the name of Jesus Christ, this healing remains permanent. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. One more person from you and then we'll pray generally. My name is Jerome Eugene. I'm a footballer. When I was young, around 14 years old, I had an injury. Or well, I didn't treat it very well. So it came out to be something very serious. So I went to the hospital. The doctor said I can't play football again. Because the leg used to swell up on its own. Okay. Which of them? Left or right? Right foot. Okay. Uh -huh. so, so, so at the time I was praying and God showed me like an encounter that the leg is okay. But out of faith, I didn't believe. I seen went to another hospital again. What happened now? The doctor now? said the same thing. Now I just felt that the pain is no more there. Check and yourself. And You're a leg, footballer. And, and it's falling up. I just... Go ahead. Myself. Check yourself. Do what you would do in the field. Any pain? Look at that. 
Hallelujah. Are you a serious footballer? You plan to go very far. Can I pray for you? It takes more than a ball and a skill. Stand up. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that when God lifts you, you will behave yourself wisely. You see, we are tired of praying for people that God will lift and then eventually they will act as if it's not God that lifted them. But we pray for you. We must be able to trust God for believers to be strategically positioned across every sphere of influence. Politics, governance, sports. There must be people there who defend the interest of the Christ. And we pray for you, my friend. More than a ball, more than the money, more than the fame, more than the glamour, may you truly be an ambassador. And every grace and every provision, every favor that must be made for your lifting, may God, here on this ground, I pray that many years from now you will return back as a professional footballer and you will come and testify in the name of Jesus. You take that grace and do exploits for Jesus. Yes, please. Two more and then we're done. Are you getting blessed in this service? Yes, please. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God because God healed me in three ways. Um, because I was diagnosed with glaucoma. So this morning I couldn't really see well, but during the ministration I could see clearly. Hallelujah. Then um, I had um, multiple lumps on my breast. Multiple. Oh, yes, sir. Verified. Verified. So they're gone now. I can't Completely. Yeah. Thank God. Then I also had a tumor in my tummy, but I felt it melting. And now you see how demonic Satan can be. Glaucoma, multiple lumps, tumor. That's the assignment of Satan. You know he has passed a life when you see these evidences. But the Bible says, for this purpose was the Son of Man, God made manifest that he may destroy. My sister, look at me. This is the house of God. This is what happens when we come to the house of God. Lay your hands there. We pray for you as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, universal. I stand here. And in the name of Jesus, we declare and we decree perfection, wholeness from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. It never returns. You will return back with joy and you will tell people you found Jesus, you found his power in church. The Lord bless you. The Lord honor you in Jesus name. Let's take the last one and then I'll pray generally for them. Yes, please. My name, my name is Abengwe Uche. I'm a fashion designer. I had through my university days, I had an accident that brought about a shift in my hip joint. A shift? And a shift in my hip joint. Okay. So it's always difficult for me to make clothes if I'm, in the, if I'm making my designs. I, if I sit, standing up is difficult. Yes. If I stand for long, I feel like I feel pain. So what I'm happened like, now? Now I can stand. I don't believe I can stand up to this time. Sit down and stand up. Please just let, let him just sit there. Okay, stand up. Goodness, sit down again. Stand up. Calvary Bible Church. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. In the name of Jesus Christ, not only will God make whole your hip bone, in the name of Jesus, that which you do, may you dress kings. In the name of Jesus, may you dress nobles. The level of competence and intelligence and relationships, connections, strategic alliances, that needs to happen to your business here on this ground will shift you to a new season in your life now for the sake of time all of you i know that there are many more who have received but i stand in agreement with the man of god over this assembly and in the name of jesus we we say thank you jesus for these miracles and we declare by the power of the holy spirit that these miracles will never leave you they stay with you forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Blessings to you. Please return to your seat. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness.